I'd like to pre hello Ladies and gentlemen, Mount Fairweather dancers, can you hear me? I can't, I can't do it. My English name is Judy Brown. My clinket name is Hayes. My clan is the Raven Tuckdain Tan. We are the people of the Mount Feather, Fairweather. Our crest is the turn. I am a Wishki Tan Yeti. My father is Gilbert Mel Sr. Gukshanish. I come from Mount Fairweather Snail House in Huna. My grandmother is Mary Sarabia Hayes. I am the daughter of Catherine Mells Yaquan Kla. It is a great honor to be elected as president of the Mount Fairweather Dancers. This position was previously held by my mother, Catherine Mells Yaquan Kla, since 1971 when they were chartered by the state as a nonprofit organization. Last time my mother attended a celebration was in 1990. She became ill in 1992, passed away in August 1993. We all miss her, but we must all carry on in preserving our culture to carry her teaching. She left us with many teaching materials like tapes, written songs. We are still learning her songs from the tapes. We will be singing a song in memory for my mother. This song was composed for her when she was born at Excursion Inlet by her father, Paul Brown, from the box house, Ka Guantan, People of the Wolf, Sitka. The story of our dancers by Catherine Mills. Our Mount Fairweather dancers were organized in 1971. The people of the Ravens and Eagles of Huna held a special conference on the subject. The Mount Fairweather dancers are combined of Raven and children of the Ravens and grandchildren of the Ravens on the Eagle sides. So we use the Ravens and Eagles. The Ravens are the people who use the Mount Fairweather as a weather forecaster. One man from the Ravens would sit all day studying the mountain for signs of good or bad, good weather or bad storms, as his people were sea otter and fur seal hunters. When the weather was going fair, he would send out his clan to hunt for fur seal and sea otters with their sons named the dancers, fair weather dancers, to keep remembering our people depended on the mountain for their lives. Our costumes come from there. Fairweather la lady headpiece, a spirit dog headpiece, Fairweather button blanket, our tribal house. It's Fairweather house 
is also known as Snail House of Huna. We have legend stories, some stories, songs are real sad. When they sing the sad songs, people cry all about or of Mount Fairweather Mountain. Our ancestors are very, very proud of that mountain, so we are upholding it. I'd like to take this time to introduce our dancers. Mary Wilson, she's our vice president. Tuktain Tan Shawu. Amy Marvin, she's our song leader. Chukin Shah. Lily White, Chukin Shah. Catherine Grant, Duck Tain Tan Shawu. Mary Johnson, Chukin Shah. Eva Davis, Chukinsha. Ida, Ida Kadishan, Shungu KD. Mamie Williams, Duckdane Tan Shawu. Esther Kays, Duckdane Tan Shawu. Genevieve Cook, Duckdane Tan Shawu. Marlene Johnson, Duckdain Tan Shawu. Veronica Dalton, Duckdain Tan Shawu. Geraldine Cook, Duckdain Tan Shawu. Jenny Lindoff, Duck. Chukanadi Shawu. And it's also her 38th at wedding anniversary. Harlena Sanders, she's our drummer, Duck Dane Tan Shawu. Starina Johnson, Duck Dane Tan Shawu. Lillian Hillman, Duck Dane Tan Shawu. Harriet Knudsen, Wushki Tan Shawu. Carol Bacon, Wushki Tan Shawu. Anita Lafferty, Shungu KD. <laughs> Leona Lindoff, Kagwan Tan Shah. Maureen Obert, Tehwe D. Shawu. Sophie Marvin, Tuktain Dan Shawu. Lillian Austin, Shungu KD. Irene Lampy, my aunt. Tuktain Tan Shawu. Cornelia Koenig, Tuktain Tan Shawu. She's our secretary treasurer. Jerry Ann Gray, Tuktain Tan Shawu. Carol Williams, Tuktain Tan Shawu. Joe Wilson, Tuktain Tan. Walter Martin, Tuktain Tan. My brother Pat Mills, Duck Dane Tan. <laughs> Ernest Jack, Wishki Tan. George Obert Jr., Kagwan Tan. Edwina White, Kagwan Tan Shawu. Al McKinley, Wishki Tan. Owen James, Duck Dane Tan. Richard Dalton Sr., Duck Dane Tan. Winnie Smith, Chukinsha. Leona Lindoff, Kagwan Tan Shah. Bill Wilson, Duck Dane Tan. David Shakley, Duck Dane Tan. Darlene Bazuzikov, Duck Dane Tan. Anna Faye Jewel, Duck Dane Tan Sha. Tessie Williams, Duck Dane Tan Sha. Christine Williams, Duck Dane Tan Sha. 
Kim Lindov, Kaguantan Sha. George Kartiti, Kaguantan Sha. Liza White, Chukinsha. Mary Cook, Duktaintan Sha. Michelle Starbird, Chukinsha. Winnie S Lee, Chukinsha. Amber Starbird, Chukinsha. Lyle James, Kaguantan. Shannon Hawkins, Kaguantan Sha. Roxanne Lindoff, Kaguantan Sha. Leslie Dalton, Duktain Tan. And my son, Greg Brown Jr., Duktain Tan. My daughter, Jennifer, she's a drummer, Duktain Tan Sha. Jeanette Brown, my daughter, Duktain Tan Sha. Yunus Cheesh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My Tlingit name is Keo Desa. And the next song we're gonna do is, the next song we're gonna do is Catherine Mills' song. It was written by Paul Brown when Catherine Mills was born at Excursion Inlet. And in uh, honor of our mother, we're gonna sing this song and we're gonna we're going to dedicate this song to the Gautikon dancers because we want to see all the songs carried on. And in honor of our Gautikon dancers, we're going to sing this song for them and we're going to dance for them. Yes, she a cock as she a jet and a duck,
Ladies and gentlemen, this is my aunt, Marlene Johnson. This song we're going to do, my father, John C. Johnson, composed this. And when we lost him, it became Marlene Johnson's song. And uh, we honor it very much, and she does too. We just want you to know who composed this song. And now it's Marlene's. Thank you.
שענת חוסן, החטא הכי יישח, היה הרוע נטע התוכה, הוכית להתחסדות שלך, היה תקרות לך היום תוכן. אתה חוסר ינעת?
Ladies and gentlemen, while they're taking a breather, in brief, I'd like to talk on behalf of Mount Fairweather, the singers and the dancers. They adopt Mount Fairweather, singers and dancers. As you can understand, it was done in 1951. We understand our own culture some of them are eagle, but they're immediate children of the Dukhtin Tan. Why they assemble together by Shingit law. Just recently, I mentioned in a clan gathering that we were having in Huna, Mount Fairweather is a place where the weather controls weather forecast. And the man that used to do the forecasting for over 7,000 sea otter hunters in Latuya Bay, his name is not amongst us anymore, Richard Shakley. He's the one that was born into it. Ukkochewo, for those many lives he used to watch the Mount Fairweather. And I mentioned in Huna, how peaceful and everything was in Huna gathering, of our clan gathering, that we had first of its kind in Huna. When the fog is settled on like a hat, it gives us the true significance the weather is going to be good. And when the parade is on tomorrow, it'll be good. It's going to sunshine. I guarantee it. That's Mon Fair Weather. The other why we claim Mon Fair Weather is very sacred to us in Dakhtain Town. We have a medicine person that has been ordained in that mountain. And this is how we got our first house from Mon Fair Weather House. So, in due process, I just wanted to mention while they're taking a breather. And now we want to enact when Junus Lachet, the drum song. He come in with a load of goods after he went out so many days. That's where we got that song, and that was my grandfather's song. That's why it gives me the privilege to try and sing it for you one more time. So I think at this time I 
drummer is busy over there, so. Huh? Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they told me to tell another story. <laughs> you know, I can also interpret the Tlingit song in English. But I don't think we'll take the time to interpret the June Tlingit song in English. The Mount Fair weather, we don't feel that we can give it up to federal or the state because it actually belongs to the Hunat of the Intan clan. Therefore, it's our responsibility to take care of it. <laughs> it is true, this big land of ours still belongs to Tlingit, Haida, Simsians, and across the nation. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, when I was learning this song, this was my instructor. She taught me how to sing this song. So I'd like to sing it for you people again.
and gentlemen, I guess it was worth it to wait a few seconds. And, uh, Owens is a relative of ours from Hun uh, Huna, married to a Huna Kagwantan Shawa. And it kind of bothered me a little bit when I saw him dancing with cake yesterday. <laughs> but I can see what he's doing here now. <laughs> In times like this, when we have our doings in Huna, we appreciated Amy for so many years. She never failed us and helped us in many ways with her songs and her talent and her expertise. We've always appreciated, and she's the Raven property. So the seagulls from Barcelona is going to be heard at this time. Oh! 